Hey everybody, it's your bro Luke Feast, back at you with another video. Today, I'm gonna animate a short Story of Trey cartoon. Recently I did a poll, a voting poll, on which animation art style you like the best. Well, the new animation art style won. So, in this video, I'm gonna make a short animation with the new animation art style. I'm gonna get into the writing, the storyboarding, the drawing, the inking, the voicing, the coloring, and the animation. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed this video. That's a long list. I'm gonna get onto the first part of this animation tutorial. I'm gonna write it. As you know, a lot of you may know, I'm changing the animation style for Story of Trey. I'm gonna go into the art style that I'm making and I'm just gonna make a little cartoon for it. I'm gonna write a script, just like maybe like minute or something. I don't know what it's gonna be about, I have no idea. I'm just gonna start with some dialogue. If you're new to the channel, Story of Trey is a series that I have for my videos. And these are characters that are in the series. Trey, Ethan, and Andy are classroom. Why am I trying to write? God damn it. I'm gonna add some dialogues. They're in the classroom. How about Trey, Ethan, and Andy are in the classroom. I'm also gonna have other characters in the classroom. And Mr. Bird is teaching. Okay, okay class. So Mr. Bird can say, okay class, today is the test. I hope you all studied. And then we can have Trey say there was a test. Trey forgot. Now I feel less insecure about myself. Andy can just say, shut up, guys. I Maybe I can just do that. Something simple like that. I'm not going to go too deep into it. So yeah, I'm just going to start with that. Now, I'm going to get on to the storyboarding. Now, I'm going to get on to the storyboarding. I like storyboarding to understand like how the layout can look, how all the blocking can look, and how I can just make it look more naturally cinematic. Maybe we can start when he says, okay, class. And then we can have like it angled. So the first shot, we can have Mr. Bird on his side. I'm just gonna draw like a circle. He's gonna be like facing this way. And he has his bushy hair. Oh yeah, and he has that beard. He's gonna look this way. And instead of him facing forward, I'm gonna have him like at an angle. So here's like the classroom wall and his whiteboard can be like right here. So in this shot, he says, okay class, today is the test. And then he says, I hope you all studied. And on that shot where he says, I hope you all studied, we can have him facing forward. So maybe he's like looking this way. Here's his ears. I'm just kind of roughing it out. Oh yeah, I forgot his eyebrows. Whoop, whoop. Maybe it's not gonna be that close up. Maybe we can have a wider shot of that. But this is just like showing that it's gonna be facing forward from that. Trey is right here aside the wall. And here's his desk. And it's at an angle. We can have Trey right here. It's like, oh no, I forgot to study or whatever the fuck. And he's facing like on the side. And I'll have to draw certain parts of Trey. Maybe he's in the back of the class. And then maybe we have Trey right here. Ethan right here. Yeah, this is gonna look a lot better. This is why I like storyboarding. It kind of helps me plan it out. I'm just gonna like rough it out a little more. And that's him right there. Or Ethan can be like that. Maybe he's like pointing at Trey. Ha! Huh. Trey forgot to study. And he can say, shut up guys. Maybe just as a close up. And he has his glasses. I'm just roughing this out and finishing it up. All right, well that's pretty good. He's looking at the class, change of perspective. We go on Trey at a 90 degree angle and then it goes to Trey and Ethan and then we can end it with Andy's line. I like that. Now I'm gonna get onto some drawing. Now, I'm gonna get onto the drawing. Underneath this table, I have a light bulb. And with the light bulb, 
If you pa put this paper over, you can see what's shining through and you can trace over it. I already animated a lot of Trey's head movements and body and stuff. I haven't animated him sitting yet. And I also have to animate some backgrounds. I have a lot of my drawings saved. I'm gonna just draw him sitting. Just trace over his belt. This is a pencil, obviously it's a pencil. I'm not gonna ink it right off the bat. I'll get into the inking next, cause I have something new for that. I'm gonna have him sitting like that. No, that's too much. I'm gonna angle it like that. Yeah, I think that'll look better right there. And we can have his leg down and his knee and his shin. This can go right here. So now he's sitting like that. I'm just gonna draw where his shoes would be right here. And his legs are higher up because they're bent. So they're just gonna be like right there. I added these, uh, I added checkers at the bottom of the pants. I don't know why. I tried to add more detail to all the different clothing parts just to show which character is which. So like in between the pants, you can add the shoe right there. Yeah, this is looking good. The tracing I'm doing is kind of hard to see what I'm working with. Might be hard to see what I'm working with right now because of the prior layer kind of distracting. But if I take this prior layer out, we can see him sitting. That looks pretty good. An indent right there. And I think that looks good for the pants. What else do I need to draw? Oh yeah, some backgrounds. Now I'm gonna draw some backgrounds, which means I have to bring this over here. You can't see me. I have to move my camera. This is where I draw my backgrounds. So yeah, I'm gonna put the paper right here. This is like a diagonal thing I made. This is the background I made for the teacher facing forward, but I need to angle it. I'm just gonna use that as reference. I'm gonna have it like this angle. We can just go like, woo, drawing the teacher's classroom at an angle. And I'm gonna add like the wall. And then we can have this, it's like the wall outer layer. I think I'll just erase this too. Cause that feels a little off. Here, so now we got that wall. So like the whiteboard is like right here in this shot or in that background. I think I'm gonna make it right there. The pen tray, I'll just call it the pen tray. And then he has like the whiteboard that goes up. I'm just gonna draw the outline to the whiteboard right here. So this will be the outline of the whiteboard. And here's that whiteboard. You can just draw the interior lines. I'm just gonna make it kind of like a part of the wall. Maybe we can add some like dimensions to it actually. Like it's popping out of the wall. So now we got the new angle, the classroom. And he can be like right there. And then we can take another shot of him in front of him like that. And now I'm gonna get on to the inking. Lately, I've been inking my animations in a different way. For different parts of the drawing, I use different millimeter pens. You can get certain millimeter pens at Michaels or Staples. So for the outline of the characters, I used an 0.8 millimeter pen. And to get a little more detail, I, got, I used an 0.3 millimeter pen for like the pockets and part of the shoe detail. And to get that really fine detail for the shoelaces, I used a 003 millimeter pen. So I started inking the backgrounds and then I scanned it on my scanner. Hey look, it's my old animation style on my home screen. I gotta update that. So, uh, yeah. So we scanned those pictures and the things we inked onto a scanner. And then I put them onto my SD card. Those three drawings, I'm just gonna drag them into my raw drawings file. I call it, hey look, it's Andy. I was doing that earlier. I'm gonna start with the background. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. We can't draw on it yet. We can't ink it or anything. We can't even, whatever. What we have to do is we have to go to image trace, which is under window, image trace. And it gives you a tab. It'll just show up like that. You can drag it into your library's panel, wherever you want to put it in your panel. I'm gonna click it. And for this, I'm gonna use black and white logo because it's just pending. Then you still can't ink it. 
object, expand, and then you click OK, and now we can ink it and color each individual thing of what we made. So what I'm gonna do, I don't really remember what color the background was. I'm just gonna drag this in, and to make sure they're the right colors, take the direct selection tool and select like the floor. We can take this dropper icon and select that, so now we know it's the same color. These sidewall things, I don't know what they're called. And for the background, I don't wanna make it 300 pixels per inch because if I were like to zoom into the background, it would become very distorted. So what I'm gonna do is do other, make it 600 pixels per inch, or I could just make it a JPEG, but this is what I usually do. And then you export it. I think that's as high as you can go. Now, I'm gonna get on to the voice acting. Now, I'm gonna get on to the voice acting. Okay class, today there is a test. I hope you all- I don't like that. Okay class, today there is a test. I hope you all studied. There was a test? There was a test? Huh, Trey forgot. Guys, shut the fuck up. Now, I'm gonna get onto the keyframing on Adobe Animate. Now, I'm gonna get onto the keyframing on Adobe Animate. I'm just gonna make a new file. I'm gonna go to 4K right here, and then you can add the frame rate. Whether it's 30 frames per second, 15 frames per second, you can add whatever setting. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna just click create. This is the canvas, what we will animate on, and this is the timeline. This is where we put all of the drawings we made. You just make a folder for Trey, make a folder for Ethan. So these are just like different folders for different parts of the animation. I think that's good. Now I'm just gonna drag everything we need into there. Drawings I made for Andy, we can just drag that into there, and then Trey Fisher. Done, now we got all the folders, all the animations in there. I'm gonna use this timeline to manipulate what's in here. I'm gonna click this insert keyframe button, but I'm gonna right click it, and then go down to frame. I just burped. Now we can drag this out like that. When you put audio into Adobe Animate, it only accepts AIF or WAV files, I don't know why, but just that's it. So you drag these into the canvas and it goes into this timeline. I'm gonna drag out the audio to where I want it. I'm gonna add a layer and then we can drag in the background. Maybe he's standing right here, we can zoom in a little bit. So yeah, he's right here and now I'm gonna add another layer with this plus button right here. And we can just add the t-shirt. So yeah, the torso isn't really facing the right way, but I forgot to draw that. It's whatever though. I'm gonna draw his arm. And now, I'm gonna add another layer for his pupils and face. So these are his pupils. We can just drag that in right here. So he's standing right there. That actually doesn't look that bad. Okay, cool. We can like, so if you take the this pin thing right here, or click W, you can add, you can click the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist, and we can have it bend. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into the timeline. I'm gonna add a keyframe, and I'm gonna bend it like that. And then you can also add this onion layer to see what's behind it. And a lot of you said you don't want the shadows in the story of Trey, so I'm taking those out now. Saving for auto recovery. Oh, that reminds me, I have to save it. So before it crashes or anything, command save. I'm just gonna call it bleh. Bleh! We can zoom into the pupil, actually those pupils are a little off. I'm gonna rotate them right. So we can add a keyframe. And I added these blinking frames, so we could just go like, whoa. And then we can add another layer for the next blink. And then he blinks completely right here. And maybe he opens his eyes, and then he opens his eyes completely. So yeah, we got that. And now, we can add the mouth movements. And maybe he goes 
opens his mouth a little bit, and then he goes to the A vowel right here, and then the O vowel, so we can just add vowels over his face. Uh, if you want to add like a new scene, you can go insert scene, add time to the frame again. Maybe we can add the second audio layer, and we can just add the location again, but this time it'll be forward like that and he'll be facing forward. So right here, it's at the side, and now we go forward. Well, my camera's getting really low on battery. I'm gonna do a big speed roll of this and then get on to the final product. This is what I came up with. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, class. Today there is a test. I hope you all studied. There was a test? Huh, Trey forgot. Guys, shut the fuck up. Thank you for watching that video. We have animation tutorials, media tutorials, tunes, films, and music, so stay tuned and have a great day. These tunes.